Hi everyone, this is Marty with Pezzadoodle Designs. I am here today to talk to you about Perfect Pearls. And if you are not familiar with Perfect Pearls, you are really missing out. You know all that shimmering stuff that we're also in love with, the shimmering sprays, the shimmering inks, the shimmering uh, paints, the, you know, all of that stuff that shimmers. This is mica powder, which is the basis of all of that shimmer. So when you have Perfect Pearls, it opens up a world of things that you can do with just these little containers. You can buy these Perfect Pearls in kits at Susanna's Custom Art and Card Design. There are four colors in each kit, plus two brushes for application, as well as a little cube of Perfect Medium ink pad to use with it. I am going to be using Versamark in my first example but it will work just as well. And the most basic use for Perfect Pearls would be just to color up your stamped image. Now Perfect Pearls mica powders are different from the other ones that you can buy like Pearl X or some of the other mica powders you might see because they have a binder that is built right in. If you buy the others, you need to purchase a binder depending on how you're going to be using them. And I don't, I, I'll be honest, I don't know a whole lot about the types of binders you use because I, I just use the Perfect Pearls. But this way you don't have to worry about it. Your Perfect Pearls are going to bind or stay in place with whatever you decide to mix them with. So to start off, we're going to just stamp. So I have Versamark, any sort of embossing ink or perfect medium will work for this. Ink up like you would a regular stamp. Stamp your image. And then I'm going to take this smaller soft brush, dip it in almost like you're painting, and rub the powder over and you'll see your image appear as the perfect pearls stick to that sticky embossing ink, whichever one you might be using. And let me tell you, when it sticks, it sticks. Because what you're going to do next, you're going to take a larger, again, soft brush and brush it off. And you can be quite vigorous because those pearls are on that image. I did not believe this was going to work when I first read about it back in the day before there were so many videos. But it does. Now, to set that image, a very light mist of water, very, very light from a distance, from a mini mister is what I usually use, and your image will not rub off. So, that is your most basic application. Now, in the collection of Perfect Pearls, you have several interference colors. If you're like me, and you were confused about what interference means because you can buy interference paint, interference ink pads and I would use them and I'm like what is this it doesn't show up that's because they are made to be used on black so you have black perfect medium that you can stamp with and then I've got two interference colors we're going to use them both Green and blue, I believe, is what they are. So I'm just going to start brushing it over. And you get a really bright, very shimmery color over that black. Another thing you can do is use Versamark or the clear perfect medium and stamp it onto black cardstock and use your interference colors. Because if you are stamping on black cardstock and you use the regular colors, they're not going to show up as well. Oh, uh, there we go. So you can really see the shine. And it really stands out. Ah. Again, this was our clear with the regular Perfect Pearls. Now, what else can you do? Susanna sells design adhesives by Clear Snap. They're very similar to rub-ons. I did a video with these recently. Showed you a bunch of different things you can do with them, including 
Perfect Pearls. Like rub-ons, they have a paper backing on them. You simply peel that off. Lay it on your paper. Just smooth it with your finger. You don't doesn't take as much rubbing as the rub-ons do. Peel the paper off. And now I'm using pewter and turquoise. Perfect pearls. The kits that Susanna sells come with the two brushes. These brushes, I never bought an actual kit. This brush was from um, my colored pencil days and this brush was from my kids art supplies. But it works. So again, very easy way to get a real wow addition to your design. There we go. I mean these mica powders shine. But there's other things you can do with these. Keep in mind, this is the basis of all things that shimmer. So if you have paint that you like to use, just regular acrylic paint, mix some perfect pearls in there, whole new ball game. If you have some embossing powder, mix some perfect pearls in there, and that's what we're going to do next. I have some filigree clear embossing powder. This is also available in Suzanne's, Susanna's store, excuse me. So I'm just going to dump some of this out with my very technical tool here. And then I have mint perfect pearls that I'm going to mix in. And, you know, mix whatever amount you think you might need for whatever project you're doing. I often will mix mine and then I keep them in a separate container and use them, you know, as I need them. So I'm just mixing once. But get those pearls good mixed in there with that embossing powder. You now have shimmering embossing powder. So I have this little chipboard scroll from a Meyer Road mini chipboard embellishment pack also from Susanna's store. I'm just going to smush it really well into my Versamark pad. You can use perfect medium, you can use any embossing ink. Just get it good and covered. Dump your powder on. Again with my very technical tool here. And then another trick that you can do with these, also with embossing powder, is do the clear, heat it up, cover the top with perfect pearls, then heat it up again. Also works really well with UT, that ultra thick embossing enamel. I'm trying to get everything out of the way so I don't spray my powders everywhere. So then I'm just going to heat this up. Be sure and let it cool after you've heated it. Just a little bit. Now you have a very shimmery embossed embellishment. Nice smooth finish with that perfect pearls mixed right in. You can do this on a stamped image too. Just stamp with your Versamark ink and put that mixture on there. Now one of my most favorite things to do is make my own shimmering mists. And the reason I love to make my own is that I have full control and it's also cheaper. Let's face it, you want every color possible, right? Because you don't know what you might need. But at the cost of each of those individual bottles, I just, I, I just can't buy that many. Then you have shimmering paper. You know those specialty pads of cardstock that have shimmer added to them? So with these, you have two things you can do. Take these little mini Mr. Bottles by Ranger. They're very inexpensive. They mist perfectly. They don't clog and the nozzles give you a fine mist, no droplets, no sputtering. And this is just perfect pearls in plain water. Not sure if you're going to, there it is. So I mixed gold perfect pearls with water, got a very subtle gold shimmer with no color. 
but sometimes I might want color. So here I added some pearls, some mother of pearl, perfect pearls, and then a little bit of reinker. It's a little bit of pink reinker. So now I have subtle shimmer and it's got the color as well. I can control how dark it is, how light it is, by how much reinker I add. Then you can really get into some specialty mixes. This is blue reinker with gold perfect pearls. So you get a whole different look here. So you can make a multitude of combinations of shimmer color plus ink color in your misters and just have such a huge variety of things that you can do. This one, I had this plain cardstock, sprayed it with just the mother of pearl and water, perfect pearls mixture. Trying to get the light to hit it so you can see. But you create your own specialty shimmer cardstock. You can do it on solid cardstock to get any shimmer color cardstock you want. And it's so easy to do. Take your mini mister, fill it with water, but not quite to the top. You want room to be able to shake it up. Then you're going to take your perfect pearls. Again, my little specialty tool, this little guy, just takes a small amount of the perfect pearls. Most of my jars of perfect pearls I have had for nearly three years use it quite a bit but a little bit really goes a long way so it's such a good investment. Now I've got some eggplant reinker. Just put a couple of drops in there. And now what I've got is a purple mist with gold shimmer. So it's total specialty mix. It can match anything, any project I'm doing, any idea I might have anything I want to do and I'll show you what I end up with so here's my piece I just sprayed it on so you're getting some of the glare from just the wetness and once it dries you'll see the gold shimmer like you saw in that blue piece but also notice how fine a mist this sprays just a couple of squirts Got a nice fine mist coverage. Let's see if I can catch that gold yet. You can almost see it as it dries. But anyway, just a real quick and easy way to make a little bit of shimmer, whatever colors you want. Any mixture, any combination, it's just an incredible way to use these. The last thing I want to tell you real quick, you like shimmering paints. Take a little bit of this little mist of water mix it around and you have a paint you can make it a light wash, you can make it a thicker paint and you can use that to accent your stamped images to draw on, directly onto your paper but it's a great great way to make your own paint. Let's get a little thicker. So these are just a really incredibly versatile product. So well worth the money. Unlike some other things that you might buy that have very specialty use but not a wide range of, of uses, these Perfect Pearls are just an incredible investment. And that only is the tip of the iceberg. Um, there are a million things you can do making your own background papers and such with these so I hope you'll give them a shot I hope I've piqued your curiosity and you'll head on over to Susanna's store check out the kits she has there's seven different ones four colors each and let me know what you think thanks